The Semtex administration and reporting system allows authorized instructors and administrators to view students' progress within each Semtex module. The system allows you to set up and modify groups for your reporting needs. This video covers the reporting functions. Accessing the system is easy. You can log directly in at group.semtex.com using your assigned username and password. Or, if you're using the Semtex Learning Platform, you can click on the Groups icon at the top of the page, which will automatically open up the administration and reporting system. Reports is the area you will use most. This is where you will find information about your students' activity in the Semtex modules. There are four different reporting tabs, Recent Activity, Students, Modules, and Groups. We will cover each of these in turn. The Recent Activity tab simply lets you know if your students have accessed Semtex recently. It shows their login dates and times. There is one record for each login session per student over the past three months. So as you scroll down, you may see multiple records for each active student. The list appears in date time order, starting with the most recent one. Using the option at the top to select a single group to view or to search for a specific user by typing in part of their name and hitting enter. You can also sort this list by a different column. Just click on the column heading. Click again to sort in the opposite order. Throughout this system, all the column headings with the up and down arrows can be used for sorting. That is all the information that the recent activity report provides. To view details for individual students, you will need to move to the next reporting tab, Students. On the Students tab, you will find a list of all the students in your groups that you have access to. Select a specific group if you only want to see students in that group. To view an individual student's activity, click on the student's name. If you click on their email address link, you can quickly email that student from your default email client. This displays a summary of the selected student's activity for all the Semtex modules they have accessed. This includes their average and best scores for the test mode simulations and for quizzes, the last session time for each of those, and their total study time within that module. If you want to view more details about this student's work within that module, click on the three dots in the right-hand column to access a detailed report for that module. This report is for the selected student and the selected module. It lists all of the student's login sessions in reverse date order. It also shows every simulation or quiz the student attempted within each session, including time taken, any scores, and whether the simulation was done in learn, practice, or test mode. One of the great features of the reporting system is that you can view a whole group's activity and results from a specific Semtex module. To do this, go to the Modules tab and select the module you want to view. The system will use the group you had previously selected, if any, or you can select another group to view. There are multiple search filters that will allow you to display your results in a specific date range to identify which students have started or not started an activity and filter those who have achieved greater than or less than a certain score in a quiz or simulation. For instance, you might want to find all the students in your class who have scored no more than 65% in a quiz. Type that number into the max score field and then hit enter. If you desire, you can print or download the current list. The reporting groups are specific to your school and program. So as you continue using Semtex over time, you have the ability to perform a year-to-year -year comparison and tweak your lesson plans as needed. The last reporting option is Groups. Select a group to see a summary of the student's results in that group, listed in order of the student's names. You can download a CSV of this data or print it. That completes our overview of the reporting features in Semtix. The group administration side is covered in a separate video.